she's 13 year old Rebecca Black and almost 17 million of you have secretly been bobbing your head to her music video on YouTube. The song's about an eighth grader getting ready for the weekend. It's made Rebecca an instant internet celebrity, but it's also made her a target for the new strain of cyberbullying. It's gone from just bad reviews to death threats. She explains on ABC's Good Morning America. What's the meanest thing you've read? I hope you cut yourself, and I hope you get an eating disorder so you'll look pretty, and I hope you go cut and die. I did cry. I don't think I'm the worst singer, but I don't think I'm the best singer. Rollingstone.com has her back, writing, Black comes out sounding like a distinct singer with an alluring sort of anti-charisma. And as of today, Friday hit number 31 on iTunes' Top 100 Digital Singles Chart, beating out that other teen sensation, a young man with whom Rebecca says she'd love to work with. I have Bieber fever. Just thinking of it just gives me butterflies. Be careful, the same brutal negativity people have spewed at you over your music would be worse if you were connected to the Biebs. JB's current girlfriend, Selena Gomez, knows. I relate to the passion in sync, Jess McCartney, and then I wanted to be with them. So even though it hurts me, I understand it. Others have also fallen victim to these ultra mean girls. Esperanza Spalding felt the heat after beating out the Biebs at the Grammys this year. He's going to have many more years and many more nominations, so. And Kim K was thrown into the fire after tweeting a pic of her and JB. She tweeted last May, seriously, Biebs, I'm getting death threats from your fans. The Biebs replied, ladies, calm down. Kim Kardashian is a friend, a very sexy friend but a friend. No need for threats. Friday, Friday. We think Friday is okay, but apparently you guys don't. When asked if you'd buy her song off iTunes, 79% voted no, she's not a real singer and it's not worth the money. Be nice out there. Be nice. Monday.